Olivia Gatorade is tripping with Alaska Airlines to San Francisco, and today we're heading back to Oracle Park. Yeah, it was a big day for the San Francisco Giants, and I reconnected with two familiar faces to celebrate this special occasion. Familiar face, I want to introduce you guys to Colton Wong. What's up, brother? How are you doing? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. All right, okay, first of all, I got to ask you, before the big game, yeah. are you excited? What's going through your head? What's happening? Definitely excited. Anytime on the West Coast, I'm always excited, man. Like, a lot of family, a lot of just friends that I, you know, played with back in the day. So it's always cool to be on the West Coast for sure. Nice, I like that. Okay, so we're here in San Francisco. We're traveling with Alaska Airlines. First three foodie spots to go. When you come to San Francisco, where do you go to? Oh, uh, <laughs> obviously you got to go down to the wharf and get, you know, the, the whole clam chowder thing yep. and the bread bowl. But, man, it's so tough because we're usually here for only a certain amount of days. So... You know, usually I'm either here or I'm back at the hotel getting some sleep, but, you know, I always got to get my clam chowder. That's number one. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, so we're talking about, you know, we're talking with you before the game. Um, baseball players are known to have superstitions. Yeah. Do you have any? Um, the only superstition I really do is not stepping on the white line. I always tend to jump over. That's kind of something I've been doing since I was a little kid. But other than that, not really because, you know, I'm not the most like routine oriented guys so if i forget i don't want that to be messing with me in my head so i try to keep the one and that's it for me cool cool yeah. awesome okay so let's talk about to all let's talk to all of your friends out there yeah if there's any young inspiring baseball players that want to come up they want to follow in your footsteps yeah. what are some advice that you want to give them i think the biggest thing man is just continue to work hard you know there is no secret about this um you know as you can see i'm not the tallest guy in the world you know i just yeah, i just got, yeah you know i just kept my head down and, and worked you know I, I got an opportunity to go to college uh, you know, took that as an opportunity to get a degree. Right. You know, kept working hard, kept putting my head down, and you know, next thing I know, I was drafted, and and the rest is history. So I think it just comes down to that. There's no secret sauce or anything like that. It's just hard work and understanding that you know there, there's going to be your ups and downs in life, and you just got to wear it and keep going. Yeah. You know, we follow your story here in Hawaii, and you have so much fans and supporters in Hawaii. Let's talk about um, what you're bringing from the islands yeah. to Milwaukee. Any values? Anything that you share with your teammates? Oh, um, it's something I did in college. You know, I try to go and see all the kids when I get a chance. Every time I'm coming out to the line, I try to see the kids. I try to, you know, be an inspiration because I think when they see me in person, they realize like, oh, you know, he's not Aaron Judge. He's not six foot seven. You know, he's a guy that, you know, is a very average height guy, you know, doesn't have anything special, but he's in the big leagues. You know, and that's something that I try to show these kids is, you know, I try to be a role model and sign for them, show them that I'm, I'm human just like them and uh, never take this for granted. Awesome. You know, I try to enjoy every single opportunity, every single moment with these kids. And when, they, when you see the sparkle in their eye, man, it's pretty cool. I love that. Well, brother, thank you so much for talking Absolutely, with us. Congratulations yes, on sir. everything. Um, I don't want to keep you too long, no, but no, after, no. maybe we'll get some zippies when you're oh, in the Oh, man, please, please. I don't know. Hey, Korean zippies. chicken, boneless Korean chicken with some fried rice on the side. Zippies hit me up. Yeah. <laughs> if you have some spam with some bees, anybody in the audience, Oof. throw it on the buff. Please, please. Field. please. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Right on, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate you, too. Exciting day at Oracle Park here in San Francisco as we're hanging out with local boy Kai Carrera. What's going on, man? What's up, man? Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. All right. Has this been a dream for you to coach at this level for the Giants? Tell us about that. Yeah, definitely it's a dream come true. It's like it's not even like an adult dream. It's a little kid dream, right? You don't you can't even fathom coaching in the major leagues. Um, you know, you think maybe in second grade when you're asked what to write on a piece of paper, what you want to be when you grow up, I definitely would have listed this. Any advice for all of your Hawaii viewers back home? Yeah, I think when they see local boys um, playing and, and now coaching uh, in the major leagues, they should know that, you know, anything they want to achieve, they, they have the opportunity to accomplish, regardless of where they're from. Let's talk about Aloha Shirt Day here at Oracle Park. What does it mean to you that you have all of these people supporting Hawaiian culture through Aloha Shirts? Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty awesome to see. In fact, I just walked out like 30 seconds ago and I, I can't take my eyes off it. Obviously, I've coached in front of people in Aloha Shirts before, but there's only been tens of them, not thousands. So it, it's going to be a blast. When you're at home, where do you go? What do you like to do? Any places that you like to eat? when you're back home? Yeah, I mean, back, being back home in Hilo, I try to spend the most of my time um, seeing family, right? That's, uh, you know, as a local boy, yeah, you're going to miss the ocean. Yeah, you're going to miss the weather. Yeah, you're going to miss food. But more than anything else, I, I miss being around my family. And so that's where I spend the bulk of my time. You're an infield and base instructor. What does that mean? I get to coach a lot of the little things that happen in the game. Defensive plays, fielding ground balls, turning double plays, positioning, base stealing. And so it's a blast, uh, you know, coaching the things that may go unnoticed. All right, you're playing against other local boy, Colton Wong. Do you secretly cheer for him? I mean, we won't say anything. Well, you know, Colton's a close friend and, you know, former teammate. 
And so I, I cheer very, very outwardly for him, 152 games a year. You know, but the nine times we see him, we each got to take care of business. All right, Kai, I want to say congratulations. Keep making Hawaii proud. I'm going to let you get back. I know you got a big game, but we'll be cheering you on from the audience. Appreciate it, bro. Here are Chi, who are two. <laughs>